Hey everyone, okay, so in this video, I'm actually gonna make the case for the Tower of Terror, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Mission Breakout remake, okay? Now, I know there's been a lot of stuff online. I'm sure I'm gonna get a ton of heat in the comments about this. <laughs> so, I love you guys, I love all my subscribers, I love you guys, you know, just bear with me here. I'm gonna make the case that why you shouldn't be so concerned why you why as a fandom as a disney community fan why we shouldn't be totally worried about this guardians remake okay hear me out hear me out okay so here's the deal okay so tower of terror at disney california adventure has always been one of the weakest um you know uh versions of of tower you know, I mean, um, Florida, the Orlando version blows our tower out of the water. Uh, the Tokyo Disney Sea version, while it's the same ride system, the exterior and the show itself run circles around um, California Adventure. Okay. The only other version that's really comparable would be Disney, uh, Disney Studios Paris, which that's Disney Studios Paris, okay? I don't have to say any more than that. It's probably the weakest Disney park they've ever done. So we have a very weak version of this attraction. We always have. Um, it's always been a very weak, watered-down version of the tower concept. So this is why I believe we shouldn't be panicking over the Guardians remake, okay? Disney already has a building created, the ride system's already in play, everything's already set. So all the money that's gonna go towards this Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout attraction, all the money, 100% of it, will go towards special effects, theming, show, you know, the overall show experience. They don't have to build a building, they don't have to dig foundations, they don't have to do any of that. All they have to do is worry about creating a good show. Okay, so all that money will go towards theming and show. Now, keep in mind, who are we dealing with here? Bob Iger. Look, I know a lot of the fan community are super upset with Bob Iger. Oh, you know, he took away Maelstrom and he turned it into Frozen and he this and that. And there's a million reasons why we're all mad at Bob Iger. I get it. I get it. I get it. But here's the thing. You can hate Bob Iger all you want. You can hate current Disney all you want. But there's one fact amongst all of that that you cannot ignore, that current Disney under Bob Iger's leadership has never cheaped out on big attractions. They just haven't. Look, I hate Cars. I hate Cars 1 and I hated Cars 2, okay? I don't like Avatar. I hate Avatar. Not I hate Avatar, but I, I don't really love it. It's not like my favorite movie. But look at what they've done with Avatar Land. They just had a video come out one of the most impressive animatronics we've ever seen. The floating rock work and all that stuff, it looks incredible, absolutely incredible. Uh, look at Cars Land, like I said, I don't like Cars, I don't like those films, but it's like my favorite land at, at DCA. Look what they've done with that, with that area, it's incredible. Look what they're doing with Star Wars Land, okay? I mean, it, they, current Disney, Regardless of what you think about them and, and, and their usage of franchises and whatnot, they do not cheap out when it comes to investments in the park. They just do not. We're not getting a bunch of like, you know, uh, Mulholland Madness attractions or cheap things like that, Golden Zephyr, <laughs> okay? That was the Michael Eisner years. We're not getting any of that, okay? Bob Iger has really made a commitment to spending money, big money, on the parks. And honestly, whether you like the franchises or not, the additions that he's done, or the additions, the additions that Disney has done under his leadership, have been quality. They've been very, very pricey and good quality. So, they're basically this current team is going to take all this money and they're going to funnel it in the tower and they're going to retheme it to Guardians of the Galaxy. They've really yet to make something really cheap looking like Eisner did, okay? I have a lot of confidence in, in this remake. I really do. I have a lot of confidence. Um, I think that our tower in its current, in, in its current form is a weak version of that theme. Um, I think that once you get into the actual building and you go through the queue and you actually experience the, the ride, I think it's going to be a much superior uh, version or experience than what we currently have. We're gonna have random drops, which we do not have now. 
Um, and I think that the actual show and the theming and all that will actually be more immersive and, and more uh, fleshed out. I really do. So once you get into the building and go through the attraction and go up the elevator and down the elevator and the whole nine yards, I think it will be a superior experience than what we currently have. I have really next to no doubt on that. Okay, I honestly trust Bob Iger and his team in 2017 a whole lot more than I trusted Michael Eisner in 2004. So I have no, no, no beef, no issues, no worries at all with this. Now, does that mean I have no worries? No, I do. I have worries, okay? And I'm not going to come here and lie to you and say that we should all be, you know, happy, 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 and nothing is wrong, and, and Disney can do no wrong. That's not true. That's not true. And I'll be the first to come out here and say, look, if it's garbage, it's garbage. I'll tell you flat out. If this ride comes out and it's garbage, I will make a video the next day telling you for 20 minutes how I think it's garbage. Okay? So I'm not here to sugarcoat it. So that's basically where I stand. Now, here's the thing. There are things that I, I'm worried about. There are things I'm worried about. Number one, the artwork for the exterior building and the model even wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. We, as a, as a, as a community, we can all agree on that. Okay. It wasn't that good. It doesn't look really, it looks pretty gaudy. You know, it's, it's b weird color schemes and gold piping and there's all this weird stuff. It doesn't look that good. I'm really worried about how this building is going to look. I'm super worried about it. This building stands, I don't know exactly how tall, but it's several hundred feet tall. You can see it from all around the resort. If it's god awful ugly, that's a problem. So that's probably my chief concern when it comes to this new version of this attraction. Now, my second concern is how are they gonna tie Guardians and the overall Marvel area that they're going to build build around the guardian attraction how are they going to tie this in to the overall california theme that's another big concern i have i don't want to just have marvel land marvel in and of itself has nothing to do with california i did a video on this the other day on how they can tie it to california and at least may have it make some sort of sense but if they just if they just gut hollywood and just turn it into marvel the experience or something like that it, 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 it's really jarring, okay? So I'm really hoping that Disney takes time, finds a clever and unique way to tie Marvel Land into California that makes sense, where an average person go, wow, okay, I can see why Marvel's in this park, okay? So those are my two concerns, okay? I worry about the look of the building because so far what we've seen has not been that great, and I worry about how they're gonna tie it into the California Adventure theme. In terms of the actual experience though, in terms of if you just take the actual experience, going into the queue, going through the queue, getting on the ride, up and down and exiting, that whole experience I think will be a thousand times better than what we currently have. I don't think the current experience that we have is all that, all that spectacular. It's a weak version of Florida. It's a weak version even of Tokyo that essentially has the same building and the same ride system. Okay, it's a weak version. So I, ha I have a lot more faith in Bob Iger and current Disney in 2017 than I ever did on Michael Eisner and his team in 2004. So in terms of the ride itself, it will be better. How it ties into California, the look of the exterior building all has me super worried, okay? But look, this video is here to make the case for Guardians. I'm telling you guys right now, we shouldn't be too super worried. I think that the actual experience will be better. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain of that, okay? We just have to have an open mind. And, and um, I know as Disney fans, look, Disney fans are really nostalgic. And I am too, I'm super nostalgic. I watched the, the, the commercial for the new Main Street Electrical Parade coming back to Disneyland the other day and I almost cried. <laughs> Okay, uh, off a commercial, okay? We're all super nostalgic and I get that. I am too, I am too. But we have to kind of take a moment, breathe and just kind of put that aside and just kind of see things for what they are. And I, overall, I think this Guardians attraction will be something really special. We just have to give it a chance and we just have to have an open mind about it, okay? Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to be perfect. No attraction is perfect. And like I said, the exterior still has me really worried. But uh, overall, I think it'll be a good thing. I think let's have an open mind. 
Um, Disney, like I said before, has all this money at hand for this attraction and all of it can go towards theming and show. That's cool. That's really cool. They don't have to worry about building a building or building a ride system. All of that is going to go towards the show. So, And plus, Imagineer Joe Rohde, I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, but uh, he's done a lot of great stuff in the past and I have a lot of confidence in his work as well. So I think it's going to be great. I think it'll be work out. I think right now we're all kind of kind of like wrapped up in the nostalgia and letting letting the current version of tower go it's hard it is hard as a fan to let stuff go but i think in the end i think we'll be happy with the with the final product but anyway so comment below i know this is a hot topic issue and look if i'm off base if i'm crazy comment below let me know what you guys think is this something that i should be really really worried about am i crazy not to be really really worried about it so comment below let me know what you think um like subscribe share the video i do videos on disney pixar star wars a lot of star wars um all the theme parks i do videos on them regularly so subscribe subscribe to the channel and you'll hear a lot of content in regards to all the hot topic issues um, in regards to the Disney, um, I don't know, fandom <laughs> universe, you'll hear everything. I, I do videos all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.